hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i want to show you guys how to make this yeah all well, can see this yeah so i'm going to be using a method known as knitting short rows they're basically called short rows and they help you come up with such designs i'm going to be showing you how to make a couple of different designs as we go on um but this is what we're doing today i know many of you have seen such types of sweaters or designs you see a different color here and a different color on this other side and you're always wondering how do i come up with that yeah so i'm going to show you how to do that today okay all right so let's get started um welcome to the channel please if you haven't subscribed do subscribe before we dive into the video yep okay so i've knitted a couple of rows um i just wanted to have a start if you do not know how to you know thread your machine or anything and you're a beginner just check out my beginner tutorials i do have a whole playlist uh beginners beginner tutorials so if you do check that out you will see how to thread your machine so to start off we are going to be referring to this picture so much uh so this started off with black yeah so there are a couple of rows of black plain black rows yeah so we'll assume that these are the plain rows that i've knitted here and then the, the design starts okay so we have black on this side and white on this side right from the beginning of the work right so i want to show you guys how to start this okay let's do that so for me for the second color I've got, i'm going to be using this kind of blue this is the blue that i'm going to be using yeah so guys what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to put all our needles in hold because um this myth, this design is starting right from here so that means you are going to have to put all other needles in hold if it was starting from the middle if it was something different starting from the middle we'll put a couple of needles in hold okay so but for this we are really starting at the edge as well yeah so i'm going to pull all my needles to hold okay and i'll leave out maybe uh let me leave out two only two to start off our design because we can't remove everything but with the machine it yeah so i've left only two needles in the working position at this edge where my carriage is please make sure that where your carriage is is where you have your working yarn and then the needles that are put in hold are on the opposite side of the carriage okay and then i'm putting my machine in hold this is how i put mine in hold okay and then i'm going to be knitting one row at a time yeah so i knit one row So my machine has knitted those two and it's not knitting these ones okay then i pull one needle back on the ones in hold i pull one needle backwards okay then i knit okay then i knit backwards so when i knit backwards it knits the three okay then i pull one needle again backwards and knit Put another needle backwards knit so guys um if you guys are already getting the idea of what i'm doing i'm knitting one row and then i push one needle backwards each time i knit a row i put i push one needle backwards yeah so i knit i think i push one needle backwards knit push another the work in position knit one push back it's another push back it's another push back knit push back knit push back this is what they call machine knitting with short rows oops push back knit push back Up. yeah so i'm going to do this up to when i finish up with all these needles and hold yeah so let me run that first and then we keep going Why 
what is causing this in my work is not guiding my yarn when it's moving across let me show you guys coming this side is fine yeah but then after i come this side when i'm moving my machine this yarn here sometimes gets tangled so you have to hold it a bit this is how i'm holding it here yeah i give it a boost i hold it to help it move easily so that it doesn't do that in my work yeah these things that's how you avoid that okay let me finish up um and if you guys have noticed you can see that this part of the work is really growing yeah but this part is still the same you can see that difference right yeah so that is what we call when you're knitting short rows so this side is short this side is longer yeah we're well, going to see what how we come up with the design okay so let me continue um, guys um almost at the end of these rows So just knit one row while pushing your work backwards. Um, I'm at the last two. Okay, let's continue. So push back one. Move, and this is our last needle. Um, but since it's our last needle and we're already at the edge of our design, so I'm just going to change color now. So when I change color, we are going to be knitting backwards. Let me show you guys. Um, on the phone again so we've knitted this first black part of the work here which is this what we have knitted this part okay so on our machine now we see that when we are on this side at the edge of the black now we are supposed to be knitting with white to come back towards this side okay so we're not going to knit white um, we're not going to knit with white all the way up here like it's showing no we are going to move step by step so we are going to move to knit white until we reach this point this point where our blue ends is where we are going to knit to so it shows now we start off with a white until we get there but for us our other color is this a bit darker blue that i showed you guys so i'm going to remove the the one we've been using from the carriage and keep it aside then i'll attach this other color of ours okay and now still we are going to bring out all the needles to the non-working position again all right so i'm going to leave only these two the last two needles in working position and then i'll bring out all the others to the non-working position that's it so remember these two we've left in a working position yeah so we move our machine oops I didn't need there is the machine didn't need back before i put this back it won't drop my work because it's already in hold position yeah. okay so i don't know why i did need these ones let me put this back on to the machine yeah what i'm going to do to avoid that i'm going to hand knit the first row with this other color that i'm bringing in just to be on a safe side so into the carriage but we attach it to our first row and knit it so maybe then it won't skip them since they are just a few it probably skipped them because almost only those are in non-working position so let's do it again and see what happens okay 
So our machine is still in non-working position, in hold position. And yes, I was right, it has knitted this time round. So like we've been doing before, every time we knit one row, we push back one needle. I hold my yarn to give it a boost, push back the next needle. Move the machine, push back one, knit one, 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 push back one, knit one. Have you guys noticed how the design is coming into play? Yes, so this is called machine knitting short rows yeah so please guys um now that you guys are already seeing the result of this please do give the video a like please do give the video a like just tap that like button and um if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe only unfair of you to enjoy the video without subscribing so if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe give the video a like and you can also let me know which country you're watching from okay uh, personally I'm in Uganda so I would love to know where my viewers are watching from the people I'm helping learn so please do comment below which country you're watching from are you in uganda are you in a different country let me know in the comments okay so i'm going to continue the same way until i get to the edge here okay so let me do that chop chop and then i'll show you guys So guys i'm almost back at the point where we have only two needles left if i knit this then we'll be on the same level yeah so that's it now our thing is balancing okay if i remove my weights you guys can see that it's balancing okay oh i'm not seeing this clearly i put this down a bit yeah so have you guys seen how we've made the design from this corner up to up there wow that's amazing guys amazing let me show you the upper part that's amazing Woo! looks so cute so beautiful okay so now let's look at our picture again and see what we are doing next now we are here at the picture okay at this time we've knitted this part and this part and now we are here where we still have another color here and a different color the other side but we are it's the same color that we've been using okay so here we have white by the other side we know the color we've been using so um so that means if the bigger part is this side that means we are starting the design from this side okay so that means that from here I'm going to start from here and put all the other needles in hold position and then we start knitting again with the same color and then eventually we'll change and use a different color and then the design will have come up okay so let me show you that um, so we are here and I'm using the same color so I'm going to pull all these other needles back to hold position I'm leaving the first two to start work with and then I'm pulling all these other ones back to hold okay with our machine still in hold position okay make sure your machine is still in hold position and then start knitting remember we knit once move one needle back 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 so guys let me take a moment to ask you guys to please like the video please do tap like and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please also do subscribe to the channel and please let's grow together yeah 
so subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you've already subscribed thank you so much now do give the video a like and please leave a comment down below for me i want to know which country you guys are all watching from okay i'm going to run this first because now you guys know what i'm doing yeah i'm just knitting one pushing one needle backwards knitting one push one needle backwards and then i'm going to do this up to the end here yeah i'm going to do it up to the end of the row and then i'll come back and show you guys what next So guys, we're at the edge. Um, so we're at the edge. I have one needle left, and so guys, I'm going to attach the other color, and our other color is the light blue. I'm putting this other color in the carriage. Okay, and then I'm going to pull it here and hand knit with this first row because you notice the other time when we didn't do that it didn't knit here yeah? so actually let me first hand knit i didn't knit it with the other color we were using here yeah? so let me first hand knit with that okay then i'll hand knit it with our new color and now i'm sure it will knit okay now i'm leaving the first two rows still and i'll bring all the other needles out into the non working position Okay, so we knit the same way we've been knitting guys. This is a simple design as long as you get to know Which side you are supposed to start from to make the design you want then it becomes So easy a design to work with yeah As long as you know that is the side to begin with your work Otherwise the design is done the same way you just knit one bring one needle back Knit one bring one needle back yeah so now you just need to know um, my color is here, which side am I supposed to put in hold and which side am I supposed to start with knitting so that you have the result that you want. Okay, so I'm going to run this first as well and then I'm going to show you guys again when I'm almost at the end of this. Uh, my machine is already misbehaving so please do pull your weights up to help you have the machine work well eh? don't forget to move the way so let me knit all the way to about somewhere there and then i'll show you guys Okay guys, so we are at the end of that row as well. Yeah, so that's the end of our work. And that's how you basically knit this design guys. So let me put off the work and show you guys what it looks like here. Yeah? guys this is it this is what it looks like so that's how you do that that's how you make um that particular design yeah so guys um that's it you guys can see the design so that's how you make such parallel designs if you want to have a parallel kind of design in your work that's how you make it so you saw how we started this and then went to the next part and then we went to the third part yeah so that's how you make those parallel lines um, then you can you know reach a point where you want to make whatever part you're making of your So guys, that's how you make that particular design. I hope you guys see that Yeah, I made some mistakes over there that I didn't uh, Clear out But at least you guys have gotten the picture of what that is supposed to be like yeah. So that's how you knit that design so please do give the video a like and leave a comment for me as well all right if you have any questions drop them down in the comment section thank you guys for watching bye